All right, this is a quick tip video. In this tutorial, we're gonna talk about how to create a really cool liquidy type background here for your motion graphics. It's great if you wanna put together a really stylistic you know, title sequence, logo animation, or whatever you're looking to put together here in After Effects. So this is what we're creating. Let's jump in and let's get started. Alrighty, here we are inside of After Effects. What we're gonna do is start off with just a title animation off the bat. We'll go ahead and revisit how to animate this title at the end of the tutorials. But once you have your title in here, what you wanna do is take those layers, if you have multiple titles, and you'll go to Layer Pre-Compose, call it Placeholder, and click OK. And then the first thing we're gonna do is go to Effect Simulation and grab CC Mr. Mercury. And the Mercury effect by itself is really interesting. Uh, but let's go ahead and take this layer, let's pre-compose it, and we'll call it Liquid, and move all attributes, click OK. Then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and bring in our other placeholder that we just pre-composed from our project panel underneath our liquid effect. And then we'll grab our liquid layer here. We'll hit S on keyboard for scale and we can scale this up by a little bit and hit P for position and position is upward. So right now we're gonna have a really cool background here with a liquid effect. We can also take this liquid layer, we can duplicate it, go to edit, duplicate. Uh, and we can hit R on keyboard for rotation, set to 180 degrees and go back to position and bring this downward. And now we've taken this really to the next level. You can see some of that text in there. It looks really reflective with that top white title there at the top. So uh, think about how you can utilize some of your placeholder elements you know, within the composition here to make it create the lighting and the shading of the outside. So that is pretty cool. Some other techniques that we could do here is go ahead and create an adjustment layer uh, and go to effect and just quickly add a, I think a noise to this. Uh, which really helps great with, I think, black dark compositions. You know, we'll set this up to say 30% and uncheck use color noise. Uh, and then something like this is just gonna look really nice to have that noise in there. Uh, so how do we edit this title real quick? Of course, well, we'll go into that placeholder, go back to one of our titles that we have here. So I'll do the top one. All right, so for our text animation, all we're doing is grabbing our text layer, opening it up, going to animate and adding a opacity to it. And we'll open up range selection one, and we'll add a keyframe for start and we'll move forward to say one second and we'll set this up to 100%. So now we should have this animation like here on the top, but now we want this to flicker. So to make this flicker, all we're gonna do is go to advanced, uh, go to randomize order, set that to on. And right here for offset, we'll add a keyframe and move forward by say a frame and we can just adjust the number by a little bit, go forward by one frame, bring it down. Then we'll go one frame at a time, just adjusting the offset back and forth for maybe about 10 to 15 frames. And make sure that last keyframe that you use is at 0%. So now if we follow these steps, our animation should look something like this. And it's a nice little flicker here off the start. Then you're welcome to copy your animator one settings and paste it to your other text layers as you see fit. So when it's all said and done, you have a really cool animation put together within just a few minutes worth of work. To close out this video, if you're looking to produce great motion graphics for your clients and personal projects while saving tremendous hours of your time per project, check out any of the packs we have off our website like this Pulse Pack. Within After Effects or Premiere Pro, you can preview thousands of templates and apply the template you want. Then you can change your settings like text and colors, and then you're done. Your own motion graphic ready to go. Check our links below to see all 5,000 plus templates we have and check out our new subscription deal where you'll have access to all those templates plus all future templates. So now you have another technique to create some really cool motion graphics here inside of After Effects. And if you look at the safe time, you can download a handful of our free After Effects and Premiere Pro templates with our After Effects and Premiere extension. That link will be below. So I hope you found this video helpful and always be creative.